Welcome to Audio TV. <laughs> Okay. Over, over. No, no, no. Okay. Let's keep okay. let's keep it rolling. Let's keep okay. it rolling. <laughs> All right, well, this so. is bigger, longer, and uncut horror too. Yeah, exactly. Um, we're doing a little bit of an audio portion right now because uh, after we see the movie, there's going to be a video to go along with this. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a little bit more editing on my part for tomorrow, but it's going to be totally worth it because the audio portion right now we're in Denny's. Getting some uh, we're getting some brekkie. And we're gonna go oh see Evil Dead Rise, and we're like super fucking stoked about it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to make my coffee. Wow. Oh Can my we god. We do this. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it's not like they've never heard us like make popping and cracking noises before. So we're in Denny's. We're getting some brekkie, and we decided that we're gonna do a quick little uh, prediction. Prediction cast, real quick. Prediction cast to be attached to Horror Tube. I'm so hard. Oh yeah, I'm so ready for this. What 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 are you what are you thinking? Like, I mean, we got what 92 reviews, and the movie's still sitting at like 94 percent on Rotten Tomatoes right now. It's it, there's so much hype because uh, yeah. Rob and I both, without discussing it, watched a lot of Evil Dead. Yeah. This week. Yeah, I watched uh, Evil Dead Two last night and Evil Dead from 2013. So. You know, we we have sucked the virtual Clinton Bowles and Wiener of the Evil Dead series a lot. Yeah, yeah. And we love the 2013 version, and I think this is going to be better. I think it's going to be better, too. Um, from everything that I've seen from a lot of other podcasters online and from a lot of people in general, like, this movie is it. Uh, uh, I cannot wait. You know how many times I've watched those trailers? Yeah. Like this entire week, I've showed like people at work. Like, yeah. there's a guy at work that was talking to like one of my coworkers in the office about like other movies, mm-hmm. and it was a Cabin in the Woods. And okay. I, and I actually told someone that there was a remake to that shit. Yeah. So Good shit. anyway, I brought up Evil Dead Rise, so now other people are gonna go see it because they didn't know awesome. it was, like know or realize it was coming out. That's so. fucking fantastic. So, okay. Uh, what do you think kill-wise we're going to go into? Do you think it's going to be like some of the most gnarly kills that we've seen in an Evil Dead? How I think you... it's going to be worse than 2013 in brutality. Oh, yeah. How the do cheese you... grater? How do you... Oh, the cheese grater line. Did you see the fucking grab bag they were giving away? The studio was giving away with the cheese grater no. and all that shit? Yeah, dude. I want one. The studio was actually giving away bloody cheese graters. I want And I'm like, oh my god, I gotta fucking try to find out how to get in touch with these people yes. and get one. Um... But, uh, no, I think I think we're going to get more brutal kills. From what I've seen, the movie just kind of goes right into it. It's like the first 10 or 15 minutes is Good. the reunion and this and that, and then it's just full fucking bore for the next hour and 40 minutes. So, hey, that's pretty much how you will do 2013 went. So. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, just no animal deaths this time, please. I fear for the kids. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Because the um, movies now, they kind of drop. I will say that, uh, you know, we're going to wrap this up kind of quickly here, but I do want to say Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell are working on what they're calling the Evil Dead Bible. Ooh. Yes, it's going to be for future filmmaker generations to continue the Evil Dead franchise. What? It's going it, to, basically what they said is like, um, this is the beginning of a whole universe. And it's going to be the beginning of a shared universe. They, have in the 1981 Evil Dead and then the remake of Evil Dead, which was Evil Dead 2, and then Army of Darkness, and then Ash vs. Evil Dead, mm-hmm. they used one version of the Necronomicon. Yeah. In Evil Dead 2013, they used the second version of the Necronomicon. And in this one, this is the third version of the Necronomicon. So all three books mm. are in their cinematic world. And now they're going to be basically creating the havoc of these three books throughout time. Nice. So they, uh, Bruce Campbell did say there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. And where those movies are is where they're going to be. How they come out isn't going to define their timeline. So we could see another like medieval time version you know, with like the first Book of the Dead, or a future, or a future one. version, yeah, with like the second Book of the Dead, like it's gonna be really crazy. So, as we begin to, I guess, wrap up our little preview here, going in, how many, uh, how many stars do you think you're gonna give it out of ten? 
out of ten, ten. Or no, that's two out of five. Okay, out, out of five. five, five. You think you're gonna give it five? I stars? think it's gonna be one of the best horror films we've seen in a while, like the newer ones. Okay, so you think we're gonna give it a a, a buy? Oh, 100%. cast runner buy. I have a feeling it might be put into some top tens or fives or whatever in the future. And that's going to be hard for us to choose between the two Evil Deads, I bet. Ooh. So when you see the video portion, I bet you will be all smiles. Hopefully. All right, well, looks like our breakfast is going to be coming out very shortly. So we're going to stop this for now, and we'll pick up after Evil Dead. Rise. It, it'll be like in a small jump from here to there for you, but it'll be hours away for us. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, because it's like, it's like 11 a.m. right now. Yeah. All right, bye. <laughs> Three hours later. Welcome back to Horror Deep. <laughs> yes. Now you know what I look like when I say it. Right. So today's episode is just a little bit different. Yeah, um, a lot of different. A lot of different. We yeah. are sitting in Regal uh, Cumberland 14 parking lot right now because we just got out of Evil Dead Rise. And we did a little uh, Pre five minute... Uh, precast in Denny's a couple hours ago. Mm -hmm. Breakfast was delicious, even though it took fucking forever for it to Holy get there. Holy shit, yeah. I thought it was going to be um, ice cold. Yeah. But it was pretty good. So, we're fresh out the theater, and boy, do we have thoughts. Um, You know, I, I was going to say, it might be a little bit of a hot, what, what would it be? Hot topic? A hot take. Hot take, there you go. Hot topic is a store. Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's better than the 2013 one. I don't know if it was better than 2013 either. I feel like it would be at least like a point or half a point below it. Right now. Right now. I Yeah, it hasn't gestated. When, I'm sure when we have our second and third watches, it'll be a different opinion. Right. But I don't... I feel like it was strong, but it wasn't as strong as the remake, the 2013 one. Well, you got to remember, that's not considered a remake anymore. Okay. Because it's all part of a shared universe now. So then Evil Dead 2013. So Evil, like. yeah, Evil Dead 2013 for me is still like the strongest. I agree. Of the pictures. I feel like the reason, to me, why it feels a little weaker for one of my points is, while it was cool to have them in an apartment complex, I feel like they were a little too uh, constrained. Because, uh, without going to the spoilers, they are really just in three rooms for a majority, the majority of, of the movie. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of scares. It goes in other places, and it's not three rooms back to back. But it just feels like there wasn't enough way to work around the very congested area without going into the spoiler territory. Okay, I think I get what you're saying. Like, I kind of enjoyed the confined spots of it i do feel like that there were some areas where maybe yeah it was a little bit too confined mm -hmm. but then it was like back to back confinement mm -hmm. it went from the confinement of the one room to the elevator to uh, outside even though outside wasn't confined yeah. it still felt like everything felt very claustrophobic in the movie yeah and I'm not 100% sure if that was by design or if that's just kind of how it came out. Mm -hmm. But everything's very claustrophobic. The... And again, this is going to be a very non-spoiler cast, but I will say it did meet my expectations of brutality. Oh, yeah. Oh, was, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, the kills and the horror and the gore aspects were, were, were phenomenal. Yeah, we're, I'm, I'm definitely not downplaying the movie. Not, 100, no. not at all. It was... It was it was kind of something that horror is needed for a little bit. Like, yeah. I, I've seen that online being said, and I've seen that in, you know, a lot of different um, reviews and shit. Uh, instant reaction, yeah, the movie definitely lived up to the hype. Like, the musical score was great, too. The, yeah. the acting was great. And the the, the mom, I guess, the yeah. one in all the trailers, so attractive. Even in... Ugh. Super duper. Mm. Yeah. Whew. Agreed. Huge crush. I got to look up that actress. Cause, Agreed. Ooh. Yeah. And I, I got to give props to the younger castmates because they did Hell a really yeah. good job. They actually portrayed kids. Like, I know that that's... Uh, a lot of times in movies, the producers and all that, that the, or the people that write the scripts, kind of uh, over overdo the kid aspect yeah. of it. Like, 
even though the kid, the one was like a DJ, they didn't make him a TikTok, yeah, uh, Twitch streaming trendy, uh, they didn't pain make, in the ass kid DJ. They didn't make it like a modern times, like how they always have to throw in like, hey, this is an old movie, right. but here's the new technology, it will be right, cool and all right. that shit. They actually did a, a really good job. The cinematography in it was fucking oh amazing. Gosh. Absolutely amazing. The lighting, everything was just um, there pitch even, perfect. There are even scenes that I, I teared up, and I was like, wow, I, I never expected to feel like this for a horror film. Right. So, hey. Um, someone who has kids, hey. Uh, that was kind of an effect. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to get into... No spoilers. No but. spoilers. No spoilers. It's still too early for that. Parents beware. Don't Parents beware. Um, if you got kids and you love your kids, love them. Yeah. <laughs> Holy balls. Holy balls. Um, I mean, that's kind of a spoiler, but uh, not in the way that, you know, it's going to give anything away. Besides, in the trailer, it's nothing but that little family, so you know the kids are going to be involved. Right, exactly. Um, and there's other parts. So I'm, the the movie is good, but off off rip, it's hard to say. Like we said earlier, that you know it beats out 2013 Evil Dead. Yeah. Oof. Um, I'm gonna have to see that a few more times. Yeah. I mean, again, because the movie was really good. Like, I, I definitely don't want to downplay that. Oh, without e without us having to go into the to comparing it to the other ones, it is a really good horror film. Okay, where would you put it in Evil Dead? Uh, you know how like yeah, yeah. I have like my favorite screams yeah, yeah. and stuff and all. Like, where would you put Evil Dead Rise? I say my number one being 2013. I would put that the very first Evil Dead, and then I would put this one. I, I love the, the original Evil Dead so much, but I feel like it at least deserves to be the third best right now. Now, for me, I would put Evil Dead 2013, Evil Dead 2, and then Evil Dead Rise. Okay. Because I know that the original Evil Dead has its place and everything, and everybody loves it for what it is. And the Evil Dead 2 is just a remake of Evil Dead. But I think that's why I like Evil Dead too, because it's got more of the um, the production quality and more of the right. stuff that we're gonna see in the future. I guess mm -hmm. you could say. So, all in all, super fucking solid movie. Definitely worth seeing. If you can definitely see it in theaters, it. I would I would go see it. Yeah, it's worth definitely it. worth go seeing it in theaters. The blood is all over. They very, definitely didn't spare the blood. Very grotesque scenes. So. Do you think that it is a worthy Evil Dead vehicle? A hundred percent. Okay. Because if I remember correctly, the script to this movie wasn't originally going to be an Evil Dead film. Really? If I remember correctly. It was supposed to be something else, but they fit it into an Evil Dead script because it, it felt very good. Like, they kind of pulled a... Um, uh, what was Devil May Cry was supposed to be a Resident Evil? Oh, yeah, yeah. The first Devil May Cry was the was supposed to be what Resident Evil Four was. Right. That's kind of what they did with Evil Dead Rise. Okay. So it was supposed to go. It was either supposed to be a brand new IP, mm -hmm. or it was supposed to go into another IP. But they they saw that it would fit really well into the Evil Dead franchise and modified it to good. fit. Good. So, yeah, super duper. I gotta say. Um, in every Evil Dead, they always play back a recording of yeah, uh, how the curse is found. To. And the use of it and the way it sounds, I love stuff like that. And When they were getting the priest, that's all I'm going to say. But, and oh, even in this movie, they talked about the three volumes of the Book of the Dead. Mm -hmm. So that, that solidifies. solidifies everything that Raimi and Campbell have been talking about. Yep. So this was the third book. Uh, which book do you think is still the creepiest? Do you think the original Evil Dead book, know. the Evil Dead 2013, or Evil Dead Rise? I think Evil Dead Rise was very bare in contrast to the other two. Yeah, I'd say it was a little bit weaker. Just because the only part that really gave me like a, a new vibe to it was just the, the spine. That now, was if I'm not mistaken, Evil Dead Rise's book 
has kind of a clean mm. aesthetic to it with a bump. Yeah. Then the Evil Dead 2013 has a... It was like stitches, wasn't it? Stitches, very bumpy appearance, and it has the eye. Mm. But the original one has like... It looks like Freddy Krueger mm. and has a big eye. Mm. So when you go through the books, it almost seems like there's a progression of beginning to worse. Right. So it looks like the book that Ash had was probably like the worst fucking one. Mm. If you're just going to judge by appearances. But then again, this one was the smoothest book. And it seems like it did a lot more damage. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's again when this drops on any streaming platform or whatever, we're going to have to watch them all again and yeah. and definitely compare even the books to like there's one thing I want to say is like you know how like Mia at the end of the 2013 one and then mm-hmm. Ash who's technically a final girl mm-hmm. imagine those two team up and they're like a special duo fours or some shit <laughs> I don't know all why. three of the finals team up yeah it's like the fucking Avengers well cause we can't say who the yeah, final yeah, yeah. is and this yeah. yeah but all three finals team up Jesus <laughs> Christ that'd be great groovy <laughs> mm-hmm I guess this one's would be come get some motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> um, how do you feel about the cheese grater use? I, I'm not going to say anything. I, I, were you disappointed? No. You weren't disappointed with the I cheese I wanted grater. more, but it was good enough. Okay. All right. Um, trying to think of anything else before we get into our next topic at hand. Which would be our last topic for the episode, obviously. No, that's it. Just definitely see if you have the, the, the chance to do it. If you have the chance to see Evil Dead in theaters, 1,000% see it in theater. Evil Dead Rise, see it in theaters. Um, if not, definitely get it Stream at the can. moment or are it or whatever yeah. you got to do. Yeah. So I think with that being said, we will do the rest of the episode because we feel comfortable with where we at. In Evil Dead, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so yesterday I sent Josh a uh, article on GameSpot.com. Mm-hmm. Crystal Dynamics is getting ready to do a behind-the-scenes play <laughs> test of a unreleased game. Uh, last month, though... Mm-hmm. People were sent a survey about Legacy of Kane. Which we might have talked about a little bit on like Horror We might have talked about it, maybe. But there was a Legacy of Kane survey that was released. And now all of a sudden, these people that did the Legacy of Kane survey are being invited to this closed test. Mm -hmm. And nobody at Crystal Dynamics is saying what it is. But if this is a new fucking Legacy of Kane game, bro. Yeah. How's that going to make you feel? I don't know because I would, as an old time gamer and lover of that series, I would want the old cast, but a you good portion has cast. passed Dead. away. Yeah, the good portion of them are gone now. So I don't know. I think my snooty game side would be like, meh, it's not the same, but I would be so happy. That is a vampire horror game from like, God. Late '80s because it started no, as Blood Omen 96, on PC. '96 or '97, I think, was, was it? when Blood Omen came out on PC. I thought it was older, but I never got. I never played the first one that was on PC. I played the second one, which is on PS2. The first one from PC was top down. Yeah, yeah. but uh, it's it's definitely a vampire type game, and if you ever want to see what I would call Shakespearean uh, voice oh my acting. God. That is probably what you will get because it is not normal voice acting. It is insanely if, good. If you mix Shakespearean acting with HP Lovecraft characters. Yes. Uh that is Legacy of Kane. It is beautifully done. Beautifully done. On YouTube there and are plenty of There's plenty of movies. Like movies of like them. movies of the especially like Defiance. Mm-hmm. Defiance was my shit, man, because it wrapped up every fucking story. Even though they made it seem like another one was gonna come out. Even though they made it seem like another one, yeah. But the the constant loop was broken. Yep. So that's it's a very confusing cool. game. If you like, trust me, you will understand shit. I, yep. I don't, and I play it plenty of times. Yep. 
Yep. So, yeah. So, do we got anything else? Oh, I believe that's it. Um, do you remember what Horror Wars was next week? It wasn't what I um, sent you last night. Because that's going to be for future. Uh, I have We're no going idea. in a 42, right? I think so. Wasn't it Sorority, that one? Was it Sorority? S- that s- some Sorority Row, and then... I don't remember. Something Massacre. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, usually we uh, reveal the episode on um, Horror 2, but... It's in my phone. Oh, I sent it to you. <laughs> but I don't know where it's going to be at in your pictures. Ugh. Because, you know, we do talk every day. Oh, so. yes. Okay. <clears throat> and plenty of memes are sent. Plenty of memes. It is right. Do, 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 do. Dead air. Dead air time. We do this so frequently. Uh, so 42 is House on Sorority Row. Oh, okay. And Spring Break Massacre. Oh, Spring Bake Massacre is the uh, horror club. Yeah. Sweet. Yes. Fantastic. All right, well, there's episode 42 coming at you next week. Coming to you live. <laughs> <laughs> Titties and shit. Man, we had... Okay, a little tidbit, too. Um, pre, 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 even beta testers, uh, a long time ago, oh, yeah. Rob, myself, and our friend Brandon mm-hmm. actually came to this movie theater and saw Blair Witch. Blair Witch, yep. And we recorded a video-esque review back then. Yep. Except that was in the back seat. <laughs> we were much more frantic on that one. Yeah, though. we were just all we were pretty much just spoiling the whole fucking film. We were spoiling everything. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Because so. we came right out of the movie and just boom, did it. Yep. So, we actually did that for uh, AD, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we were all still in AD. Yep. <laughs> so yeah. Yep. All right. Well, uh, we'll see you guys uh, next, next week. week for Horror Wars and two and two for Horror Tube. Bye. <laughs> we don't have an exit for this one. Nope. That was Horror Tube. You gotta do it in the actual voice. <clears throat> that was Horror Tube. Okay, bye. Bye, everyone.